Hey guys, today's video is going to be a reading mean comments video. I used to do these videos all the time. So I have them all here in my phone. Where should we start? So I get this comment all the time. This one says, You just like drama. I get some form of that. Like, oh, Vanessa's a drama queen. She just likes drama. Yeah, da, da, da. But what's fucking hilarious is that the people that say those comments to me are watching a drama video. I just laugh because it's like, you like drama too. You do, otherwise you wouldn't be watching a drama video. We're the same. The only difference is I'm speaking out about it and you're just like lurking quietly, silently, but you love drama. Otherwise you wouldn't be watching the video. <laughs> So I just laugh when people say that because it's like you're a fucking hypocrite. If you didn't like drama, then you wouldn't be watching a drama filled video. So just shut the fuck up. <laughs> this comment is from one of my recent videos where I talk about how I get messages from people all the time where they want me to talk about, you know, how they've been scammed. They want me to help them out. This person says, No one puts anything on your shoulders. You make the decision to do it. No one else. Um, okay, so the second part of that comment is true. You make the decision to do it, no one else, but the first part, no one puts anything on your shoulders. That's what? <laughs> That's not true. They do put stuff on my shoulders. The amount of DMs, if you guys could see my DMs, like you'd be like, holy fuck. So uh, yes, they do put it on my shoulders, um, but you are correct. I'm the one that makes the decision to do it. No one else. So you almost, almost 100% with that, but no, that was 50. That was a fail. This was on a recent video where I talked about how I don't understand why people... Um, like shoot the messenger. Like if I deliver a bad message, oh no, no, I'm the bad person. And I didn't understand that. And so this person said, What a self-centered video. How about informing people about what is going on in the situation? This video is about you. Why? The video was not talking about any particular situation. It was just in general. And yes, it was about me and it, how it's self-centered because it was, <laughs> yeah, I made a video because I didn't understand why people attack me. Like, yeah, okay, that's self, it's not self-centered. It's not self, it's, it's me genuinely being curious, like, what the fuck, so. <laughs> this next comment is funny. No one likes a whistleblower. Think Linda Tripp. Okay, Linda Tripp, if you don't know, um, she had a lot to do with, like, the Clinton, Monica Lewinsky scandal. A lot of you guys probably aren't old enough to know what that even is. Somebody commented in one of my last videos, and they were like, hold on, I have to find that comment, because it's so true. I can't find the comment, but basically the person was like, you know, like shooting the messenger is like when, you know, you found out your friend's boyfriend cheated on her and you tell her, but then you become the bad person. It's like, exactly. So I'm gonna do a live soon here on YouTube and I'm gonna address everything. We're gonna talk about everything one last time. I'm gonna name names. We're literally gonna talk about everything. So don't miss that. I don't know when that's gonna be because I feel like that's gonna be like a six hour live. Like it's gonna be crazy. So I gotta figure out the best day and time to do that. So. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because that's where I will announce the date and time. You don't want to miss that live, I promise. This person said, Why do you keep lying about getting banned from whatnot? You had tons of warnings before getting banned. Nicole did not ban you. She doesn't have control over that. All right, so um, if you don't know, I was banned from whatnot. I have a video talking all about it. I'll link it down below. People saying that I had tons of warnings, that's not true at all. I had one other instance where I was banned and you guys wanna know, I was banned for a week. You guys wanna know the reason why I was banned for a week? I've talked about this, um, I think in a live, actually, I don't know if I talked about it in a video, but the reason why I was banned for one week was because I was literally warning other sellers about Nicole State. <laughs> Like a bunch of people got together and sent DMs that I had sent them and said, oh, this person's harassing me. It's like, if you actually read the message, I'm just looking out for you and telling you your new bestie isn't really your new bestie. Like that's all I was doing. So two times that I got in trouble from whatnot, both of them, I was talking about Nicole State. So that doesn't look a little fishy. So yeah, my first ban from whatnot was for a week and it was because like I have, guys, I have screenshots. I've showed you guys the emails. Like I don't lie about this shit. I know there's like tons of people out there that hate me and they're like, oh, well she just, she had tons of warnings and she, she knew that it was coming. That's not fucking true at all. That is not true at all. That, oh my gosh, am I gonna have to go back and look? Um, I'll address this more in my live show, but I believe that first ban, actually, yes, I know it was. It was in January. It was in January of this year. It was for one week. And then my like permanent ban came in April of this year. So like I didn't, it was January, February, February, March, April. So it was three months later. So no, I didn't like, it, I didn't have tons of warnings. That's a fucking lie. Don't listen to anyone that says that because they literally don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, but I'll address that more 
in my life. But I, yeah, I just wanted to mention that comment because it's not, it's not true. Literally the reason why I got banned from Whatnot was because of a video that I made about Nicole State. And in that video, I showed screenshots of some scams that she had done. So you, you figure it out. Well, this comment was like pretty much the same. You deserve to be banned from Whatnot. You were warned so many times. Stop acting like you're all innocent and then got banned for no reason. I mean, it... I literally just told you guys what happened. So these people, I don't know, they hear shit from other people that think that they know what they're talking about, but they don't. And they spew this bullshit. And it's, it's really funny. This is the comment from my recent video where I said, you know, hey, about like shooting the messenger. I don't get it. And this person said, I got the answer for you. You are not very likable. Who made you the reseller police? I think I replied back that I actually appointed myself to be uh, head chief of reseller police because no one else uh, had the balls to do it. No one else wanted to do it. Yeah. So that's why. But my role, my role, I'm, um, stepping down from my role January 1st, 2024. So if you didn't see that video, I'll, I'll link that down below. But yes, reseller police. Um, I don't have a badge though. I should have a fucking badge. I don't have a, I don't even have a badge. That's some bullshit right there. I didn't know I wouldn't get a badge. So this was a super long comment on one of my recent videos. 99% of all resellers don't know who any of you people are, don't care, or and don't know or care about any drama. Why? Because we're running businesses, not high school cliques. The fact YouTube resellers make videos about treat your business as a business and then constantly get involved in shit like this, the irony is thick. This one's funny. Anyone posting social media drama about reselling aren't running resell businesses. They are running drama social media businesses. Pretty sure I I sell things. I, I sell things. I sell clothing and I get money for it. And I also get money from these YouTube videos too. That's one thing. I just laugh when people tell me not to make videos about stuff. It's like, do you not realize that I get money from these videos? This is part of my business. I have a reselling business. I have a YouTube channel. I get money from both. So... I don't know. I don't know if people don't realize that. I don't know what the fuck. These videos make me money too, if not more money than like talking about friggin' how many items I listed today. That's actually another thing. Somebody commented um, in a video, they were like, how many items could you have listed instead of making this video? You know what? I'm a live seller. I don't list items anymore. So <laughs> videos um, like this and drama videos get more views than other videos. Why is that? If I'm the only person that likes drama, <laughs> Like, why, why, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Clearly, you all like drama too. You do, you're just afraid to admit it. You just try to be like incognito and watching the videos, but clearly you like drama. You don't like to be involved in it. Like, that's me, I, I don't like to be involved in drama. Like, nope, nope, but I will talk about it. That's the difference, I'll talk about it. You guys just wanna watch it. So you can't like shit on me. <laughs> So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I literally could make this a whole series. Don't address comments that are just ridiculous. Like, oh, you're ugly. Or I don't like your hair. Because those are just like, who the fuck? Like, okay, cool. I don't give a shit. So I usually just delete comments like that. I can take constructive criticism. I get constructive criticism all the time and I can handle it. It's just ridiculous comments like in this video that aren't true or have like half the facts. That's when I'm like, eh, and I got to address it because I always stick up for myself. That's just something that I always do and probably always will do. But again, I'm done sticking up for other people. Go watch that video if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, 2024, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up my reseller police. I didn't even get any documentation saying that I was captain of the reseller police. So I'm just hanging out my imaginary badge, I guess. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.